Hi there, everyone, welcome back to Frame Shaves. Oh, scratch your eyes, it's time for a shave. It's Saturday, it's beautiful summer weather here in Saudi, in Norway, in the 80s. Sunny, nice, and warm on borderline to hot. We're gonna have a shave. Nothing new today. We're gonna do the Mercure 34G two piece razor, and I'm gonna load that up with a brand new strap. Green. So just get that out of the wrapper, like so. It's nice with weekend finally, and the 34G always just aligns the blade perfectly straight. Really nice beginner racer. This one, same racer as the 34C, only different colors. Brush will be this also fox horn brush from Frank Shaving. This is their newest synthetic knot. It's a G9 and this is a massive 30 millimeter knot. Great, great brush. Um, if you're gonna purchase anything from Frank Shaving, please use my uh, code. It's Fred underscore shaves, and then you get some discount at checkout. Soap and splash will be. Boreal from Terrell and Steel, not a very summery scent, it's a really woodsy, nice scent. Uh, I should probably be doing some mentholated stuff in this hot weather, but I'm gonna use this anyway because I am almost empty in this tub, so we will see if we can use a little bit more of that. So, let's wet the brush. Just gonna throw that paper away from the wax paper from the brush, from the brush, from the blade. Shaking out the water from the brush and go straight in to loading. So, I hope you are all having a nice weekend so far. It's early evening Saturday. I think it's, yeah, it's just past half seven in the evening it's been a lovely day it started out quite cloudy so we didn't plan for any beach trip so we we've been just doing things home and i also have brought uh, the older to some activities and we've been in a nice park and played with water and stuff so it has been a good relaxing day let me just tell you that so loading quite heavy down here it's a really really densely packed brush and it's a big knot so it will require a little bit of soap i think that should be more than enough it looks a lot there let's add some water normally cold water there in my mist sprayer scoop off proto leather from the tub and we really <laughs> did get into that last soap bit for sure i'm gonna show you too it shrinked quite a lot there Beautiful woodsy scent, look though, probably three shaves more, three, four, five, a little bit depending on the brush. Okay. Mm. It's quite a lot of backbone in this brush. But it has really, really soft tips. Mm. It's not squishy or squashy. There's a bristle. It just feels lonely and kind of massagey. It gives you a nice scrub. Mm. 
more water. Mm. I feel this brush is really dense. But it will serve you with a great, great ladder. Mm. This is an old formula from Taliban Steel. Which is holding up really, really good. Taliban Steel is based up in Canada. The scent notes in Boreal are uh, cedar wood, cedar leaf, birch, balsam fir, white spruce, black spruce, monada. I don't know what monada is. I guess it's a tree species. I don't know that for sure. Mm -hmm. It's not a tree we got around here, I think. And I guess I would have heard about it, or it could uh, have a quite different name. Mm. This ladder is coming together really nicely. Starting to get a nice shine. I have some small cuts from yesterday because I forgot to lock my twist open mechanism on a vintage gillette, so I had a, quite a rough shave. Hopefully I will not get any problems with that tonight. We will see. Really wet ladder. Mm. Yeah, this is plenty wet and plenty slick for my liking. <coughs> Running down the handle of the brush. It's a good sign of a hydrated ladder. I don't know if you can see, yeah, look at that shine. Mm. This is actually a notch wetter than I usually make my ladders, but that's okay. It just means it will get even more slick. It's my experience shaving in cold water, of course, as always. First pass with the grain. Yeah, that feels beautiful. The marker 34 always pairs up perfectly well with the Astra Superior Blade. Really mild razor. Trying to remember where I had those small cuts so I don't reopen them. Hmm. Yeah, 
So you probably figured I get one day of growth since I just told you I shaved yesterday. If I didn't shave from yesterday today, that means one day. Don't you know that? Hmm. Easy mat. Quite easy mat there. Hmm. Really, really slick soap. I really enjoy Talvin Steel. And I enjoy this particular scent so much, I got the soap in spare in the new space. Which I'm really looking forward to try. One thing I have um, seen in the new space is it's the soap body itself. It's much, um, it's much um, softer, much less firm. So I'm excited to try out that. It's a really shanky brush, really nice to hold and really nice to use. Ming over at Frank Shaving really put out some great, great brushes. I really enjoy all my brushes from Frank Shaving and I got quite a few. I have their G9, G7, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, I have the G5. I have the, several of the best bachelor brushes. I have not, and I have the bore brush, which is really good. I have yet to try their silver tip. Mm. And I also have a mm, mixed one of. Um, I think it's silver tip and synthetic G4 fibers. Uh, I haven't tried that one either. But I have heard that to be really good. And I have yet to try a brush from Frank Shaving that isn't really, really well made and Feels really, really nice to use. Perfect racer for beginners, this Mercury 34. Doesn't matter if you pick the 34 sheets. She? The 4G? I can't talk today. The 34G or the 34C. That's down to preference in what it looks like. They are shaving identically. This is a little bit uh, dry, so we're gonna dash a little bit of water. There we go. That's better. Mm. 
Mm. And that was for doses of water. Really wet that is actually. But as you can see the ladder doesn't break down. It just gets into a really really shiny state. It just holds the water. And at that point it starts to run because it gets so heavy. So it gets dragged down by gravity. I think we're in for a treat tonight. Wow. Another is dripping off the razor. It's running straight down my leg. Oh, one tiny weeper there. That's one of my small cuts yesterday, ah, there as well. I think we are gonna bring out that old column stone again tonight. Hit up those pores. Okay, let's see where we're at. Hmm. I tell you one thing, that's a really, really close three pass shale there. It's gonna rinse off with ice cold water. and satisfy. Mm. Not much of a feedback. That's really minimal. Great shame. Just gonna let that sit and do its thing for a little while. Rinsing out my brush soaker meanwhile down here. I wish we could have, have this weather between 70 and 85 degrees all the way through October. This, this is perfect as it is, but truth to be told, we do need some rain. It's really dry now, and I probably told you it's water usage restrictions in my area to save water. <sighs> wow, nice shave, the matching splash. 
which is which is based on organic ingredients. It smells stronger than the soap, and it smells lovely. This is really nice for your skin. <laughs> I think I overdid it there with the dose. But that's okay. <sighs> nice shave. So let's do a quick recap. We did use this really really soapy brush from Frank Shaving, it's the Fox horn handle with a 30mm G9 which is their newest synthetic offering. Soap and Splash was Talvin Steel Boreal from Canada and Razor was the trusty Mercur 34G. That's all of us all for now, happy weekend, take care, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and until my next video. Goodbye.